focus um, early on was on events at the elementary school. Has the search there finished? Has the work there finished? The majority of it has. Now, I know that we were there. There were some casualties, some fatal uh, events that happened in that building, uh, and we were moving some of those. In fact, that's one of the reasons that we had to move the press this morning was to remove some of those bodies and get them down to the medical examiner's office. How many happened there? I don't have those numbers yet. We're hoping to release that later. But that was a catastrophic event that happened at that school. The children that sought shelter there at the direction of their teachers and faculty, they, they did so um, with the hope and with the belief that they were going to be safe. And it's heartbreaking that they weren't. Uh, there isn't any explanation why some were taken and some were not, why some buildings were decimated and others were not. We don't have those answers. We, we trust uh, when we take our kids to school in the morning, that when we drop them off, that, they, that they're going to be there. And it's heartbreaking when they're not. And, and I don't have the answer. Um, we trust that God watches over our families. And we, we have to hope that when we come home at the end of the day, that our house is going to be there. And, you know, we live in Tornado Alley. We accept that. Oklahoma is a wonderful place to live. But any place that you live, there's, there's dangers, whether it's earthquakes, whether it's tornadoes, whether it's hurricanes. You know, and we accept those dangers for what they are, and we take the necessary precautions. We try, but we don't always succeed. And today, yesterday, we didn't succeed. Um, we weren't successful in, in making everyone safe. And there's people in Moore, Oklahoma, with broken hearts today because they tried to come home and there was no home and they tried to pick up their kids from school and there was no school and there isn't anything that we can say that's going to change that that that's the facts and it's going to take months and years and maybe some will never recover our hearts are broken for them there just isn't anything we can say that's going to that's going to make it any easier but we're here we want to be here for the families we want to be here for the victims we want to do whatever we can to help them regain some sense of normalcy.